But you, you see, it's the, it's the whole approach, eh? and all I know. The Substance Abuse Advisory Council Secretariat is taking a step-by-step -step approach to addressing nicotine and tobacco dependence. Tobacco use is one of the main modifiable factors that contribute to the incidence of chronic non-communicable diseases in St. Lucia. In 2019, a WHO stepwise approach to NCD risk factor surveillance survey indicated that tobacco use was more prevalent in the age group 18 to 44 years. Caleb Paul, program officer at the Substance Abuse Advisory Council Secretariat, who recently coordinated the drug prevention and building resilience session at the V4 Secondary School, said the aim is to build coping mechanisms and encourage positive thinking in all aspects of the lives of the students. Uh, we hope that as we go through the schools and speak to the students that, you know, they would see the importance of taking substances as a whole, that uh, making proper decisions, developing coping strategies for themselves, um, being able to overcome those, you know, their own stresses and difficulties that would probably lead them to try in a substance first. Mr. Paul said that the feedback from the students has so far been very encouraging and instructive. I believe that learning is taking place um, and, and for us ourselves we we see that coming from this you know more of this is needed uh, sometimes some topics probably we have to go much deeper in uh, so you know these students are able to understand fully what these matters contain. Shahid Monti a student attending the V4 secondary school participated in the session and gave his impression of the exercise. Well, my first thoughts on the activity was it's mostly negative because I had substance awareness and thought like criminal and stuff. But on being in the, being part of the activity, it was more educational, learning different ways to, you know, socialize and, you know, be part of something. It was a very fun activity. I learned very, very interesting stuff today. I never knew that cigarette and etc. would be such harmful things. I knew it was a very bad, but I never knew it caused so much damage to someone's internals. Another round of the drug prevention and building resilience workshops will be held at the Sufre Secondary School next month. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.